Hello my student, welcome to What the Math. Today I'll be teaching you how to use DMS function on your awesome GDC, your calculator, which is a function that allows you to convert between minutes, hours and seconds into decimal points and vice versa. And why would you want to use that? Well imagine you found an answer and you have to express it in minutes or hours. That's why you need it. It's super fast and it's super easy. I'll show it to you in a second. Here is an example 14 from page 53. This is our ubiquitous mathematical example with cars and driving and distances and points A and B, your favorite ones. So imagine a car going vroom, 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 all the way from, let's just say, Seoul to Busan. Uh, the distance here is approximately 300, or actually is 325 kilometers. And your question is this. Question one is, find average speed if the trip takes four hours and 17 minutes. So here we're looking for average speed, which is usually written as delta V, and that's also a, a kind of a, it's a type of a rate. So this is a rate of change, delta V. And question two is asking you the opposite. It's asking you, how long did it take to get from A to B if the average speed was 93 kilometers per hour? So this is 93 kilometers per hour. And so how long did it take to get from A to B from Seoul to Busan? So that's our problem. It's very common on, on a test to see something like this. And basically there are two ways of solving this. One is the hard way, the long way, where you basically convert everything into, uh, I guess, hours or minutes or seconds. And then you try to figure out, um, basically you divide the distance by the time that it took to get there. And this will give you your answer in decimal points. Then you reconvert it back into minutes and hours. So this is, uh, this might take you three, four minutes to solve, but you can do it much easier on your calculator. I'm going to show you how. First step is uh, click second. Oh, wait, 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 don't click it yet. Let me show you how I'm doing this. I'm going to show you my, uh, my window. All right. So this is what I was trying to open. I was trying to open my key press history so you can see what I'm pressing. Okay. First step, step number one, press on mode. Mode is right here on top. And this will bring you to this little window. Now, what you want to do is uh, usually by default, this is set to radiance. You want to change it to degrees and press enter. So it starts blinking on degrees. And that's what we need to make this work. So click on degrees and then close it, quit. And that's pretty much it. This is enough for us to start calculating. Uh, and the first question is this, right? You have your, um, your time, hours and minutes, and you have your distance, which is kilometers. And you have to find delta V. You have to find the rate of change. If you remember correctly, if you remember your magic triangles, and actually let's make a magic triangle right here. It's going to be very nice and very magical. So on top, we have our distance. Then we have our speed right here and time right here. And what are we looking for here? We're looking for delta V rate and that's speed. So we cover the speed. I'm going to cover it with paintbrush. I'm going to cover it right here. And so we're looking for, so we're looking for distance over time and distance is right here. Time is right here. Let's go to our calculator. Now what, this is how you enter it. So three, two, five, obviously divided by, now this is where it gets compl complicated. So you type four. Now you have to uh, specify that this is hours. And to specify that this is hours, you go into second apps, which is actually called angle. And this is what we're looking at here. We're looking for, at these two symbols. This one is for hour. This one is for minutes. So click on this, the circle thingy, which is degrees. So four degrees. And how many minutes? 17 minutes, 17 second angle, 17 minutes. So this, this is basically 325 kilometers divided by four hours and 17 minutes. And this will give us speed in kilometers per hour. And the answer is 75.87. So basically that's our answer. And we want to write this in th uh, with three significant digits. So it's going to be 75.9 kilometers per hour. So that should be your answer. Let's write it right here. 75.9 kilometers per hour. And that's the answer for number one. And this is how we do it. Number two. So now we're looking for, uh, we have our delta V. We have our distance. And we're looking for how long is it going to take us to get from that point to the other point. So one more time, we have our distance and we have our speed, but we don't have time. So we're going to cross out time. This is what we're looking for. And basically the, ooh, that's a too big. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Basically, it's going to be D over S, which is distance over 
speed, right? Distance over speed, as is speed here. And so what do we do? We, we try this again. We try this again with our calculator. So this time it's going to be 325 divided by 93. This will give us 3.49, I guess, hours. Now we want to convert this into the minutes and hours. We want to make this into hours and minutes. And this is how you do it. So if you press second, you press angle or apps, second apps, which will give you angle. And this is the functions we'll, function we'll be using. It's called DMS, which is basically, it's written right here, degrees, minutes, seconds. So in other words, you're converting this to degrees, minutes, seconds. So to this, answer to DMS. And what this will give us our answer in hours and minutes. And the answer is three hours. 29 minutes, 40 seconds, 0 .644, 45, uh, what is this, microseconds? And so that's basically our, oh, our answer. And um, so in other words, 3.49 in decimals will be three hours and 29 minutes. And that should be enough for an answer, so three hours and 29 minutes. Three hours, 29 minutes, and I'll just put seconds here just in case. And 40.645, that's 41 seconds. If we round this out uh, to the uh, nearest once, that's going to be 41 seconds. So, and that's your answer. Three hours, 29 minutes, 41 seconds. And that's really how you use DMS. It's super fast, super easy to convert between hours, minutes, and decimal points, and vice versa. And will save you a lot of time on the test. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye. Good luck to you.